have the standard form, the subject, which is the main idea, the copula, which is the linking verb, and the predicate, which explains the subject. For instance, every person is valuable. Every person is the one being talked about, so it's the subject. The linking verb is the word is, so it's the copula. And lastly, valuable describes every person. That is why it is a predicate of the proposition. There you have it! A uh, LOGICAL PROPOSITIONS! In propositions, there are two types. The categorical, which only consists of one proposition. And on the other hand, the hypothetical, which consists of two or more propositions. <laughs> LOGICAL PROPOSITIONS! When talking about categorical propositions, there are two things to consider, its quality and its quantity. Quality means whether the statement is affirmative or negative. Affirmative means the categorical proposition is positive, or when negative, it means that the categorical proposition is negative. On the other hand, the quantity, we will determine whether the proposition is universal or particular. Universal means it is all or nothing. When we heard the keywords like all, everyone, and no one, it means that the statement is universal. And in particular, it means that there are only a set of ordered things. When we hear the keywords like some, most of all, and most, it means that the proposition is particular. Propositions! Now, we know the basics. So let's seek on further. The quality and the quantity actually come hand in hand. You want to know why? Then keep on watching! All of my cards are black. All cards are black. All cards show that this logical proposition is universal because of the word all. Furthermore, it is affirmative because there was no negation that has happened, making this as a universal affirmative or in a much easier term, the A or the U positive. All of my cards are not black. All cards are not black. As you can see, his cards are red. This example negated the first one because of the word not. That's why this is a universal negative. You can remember this as E or the U negative. Some of my cards are black. Some cards are black. It is shown that the cards are not the same. Because of the word some, this is particular. And since no negation happened, this is a particular affirmative. What's next with E? It's I, or the P positive. Most of my cards are not black. Most cards are not black. The cards were mostly red, and so it is not black. Therefore, it is a particular negative. This is O. O is the last, and O is P negative. LOGICAL PROPOSITIONS! Let's summarize them. We used the first four vowels as mnemonics to easily remember the terms. A as a universal affirmative, E as a universal negative, I as a particular affirmative, and O as a particular negative. Keep in mind that they can appear tricky, so analyze it well and use your logic wisely. We hope that you learned something from us today. Thanks for watching! Bye! Logical Propositions!